never worked for Russia. And you know that answer better than anybody. I never worked for Russia. <laughs> no, I am not a Russian spy. I think this is a completely unhinged conspiracy theory for which there is absolutely no basis in fact. This is because ultimately she knows that she can't control me. That, that I stand for, I stand against everything that she represents. Welcome back, everyone. I've been super busy the last few days and haven't put out a lot of content, but I'm back and I'm ready to get some. The election of Donald Trump broke a lot of people and sent them plunging into Orange Man madness. We see them every day in the media and I think you know who they are. These people, along with their Democrat Party allies, actually created a narrative for multiple years that our president is a Russian asset. Just think about that the next time you hear these chicken littles fear-mongering about danger to our democracy. 18 reasons Trump could be a Russian asset. The worst case scenario for Trump-Russia collusion, that Donald Trump has been a Russian intelligence asset since 1987. He knows how to play his asset. And Donald Trump, either wittingly or unwittingly, is an asset of the Russian government. Uh, I believe this was the greatest intelligence operation of our times, and it ended up putting a Russian asset in the White House. As Democrats typically do, Hillary Clinton is now parroting this media attack on Trump and using it against a fellow female Democrat, Tulsi Gabbard. And for that matter, she's actually accused Jill Stein of the exact same thing. We'll get right back to this media meltdown, but first let me just take a quick moment to thank this video's sponsor, RibT.com. Guys, I know that we all need to constantly replace our t-shirts and underwear because we buy them cheap, in bulk, and at department stores. I'm here today to implore you to consider stepping up to a higher quality, immensely more comfortable choice. Not only are they American made, but Rib Tea is a company that values free speech and YouTubers like yours truly. If you need new t-shirts and underwear, and I think we all know that you do, treat yourself and try something that will not only feel amazing and improve your mood, but will also outlast anything that you bought from a department store. Head on over to ribtea.com forward slash drone tech and make sure that you use the promo code code drone tech to get 20% off most items. If you would like me to give your channel or your website a shout out, simply make a purchase at ribtea.com forward slash drone tech and send me the proof of purchase. Thank you. But an aide confirms that that's who she was talking about when she made this stunning claim that the Russians had already hit on a way to meddle in the 2020 election, much in the same way they meddled in her election in 2016. First off, her election? What the hell is she talking about? Hillary Clinton lost the election and at no time was it her election. It just goes to show you the lens that these political operatives pretending to be journalists see the world in. Apparently she saw the previous election as merely a process to install Hillary Clinton as president. Second, I'm so tired of hearing this broad generalization of Russian meddling used to cover for Hillary's election loss. She was low energy. Her rallies attracted a small fraction of what the Trump rallies were attracting. Unlike the massive crowd at the Trump rally, only 600 people showed up for Hillary Clinton's rally last night in Iowa. She skipped key states that she needed and allowed Trump to put the extra work in that eventually paid off. She skipped key states that she needed and allowed Trump to put the extra work in that eventually paid off. What did the Russians do? They bought some Facebook ads and they organized some rallies for and against Trump. In fact, the anti-Trump rallies that they organized were touted and promoted by CNN. NBC's Morgan Radford is at Union Square in New York City. That is where the anti-Trump protest is just about to kick off. I want to show you some of the signs and the posters they're holding up here. You can see one here that says, knowledge, Trump, hate, protect our public schools, teachers against Trump. You see people that are really saying that this is the time for them to come together. Protesters coming together, frustrated, angry, and all directed at the president-elect. This is a lot of different groups of people who have come yeah, together I, I with only... no necessarily official leader. What else did the Russians do? 
Well, they supposedly hacked the DNC servers and let the American people know about corruption in the DNC and media. Apparently, both parties don't think that the American people should have known about any of that. Now, compare that to the millions of illegal foreign nationals that are in this country driving policy and, in some cases, even voting in our elections. Which has a bigger impact? I mean, if you watch some of these Democrat rallies, you're going to see Mexican flags waving in the crowds. Clinton said, quote, they're grooming her to be the third party candidate. She's the favorite of the Russians. They have a bunch of sites and bots and other ways of supporting her so far. What the hell? Everybody has websites and bots. Are we to believe that every other country out there doesn't have a favorite candidate and isn't doing what little they can to show support for that candidate? What are we supposed to do exactly? Censor all support for American candidates that comes from outside the US? You see, what they're doing here is so stupid and obvious. They're just setting it up so that anytime a Republican wins, they could just say the Russians did it. And when a Democrat wins, they can give the all clear. And now I guess we have to include Democrats who aren't far left enough. My guess is that as these people's mental health continues to plummet, we're going to see more and more people accused of being Russians. Even I get constantly accused of being a Russian bot on Twitter and Facebook. Not all media members are on board with this, though, as we saw with the self-titled communist revolutionary Van Jones. Uh, if you're concerned about disinformation, if you're concerned that what the Russians do is they, dis they spread disinformation, they get us divided against each other, that is what just happened. Just throw out some information, disinformation, smear somebody. She is Hillary Clinton. And yet this is exactly what you all did to President Trump. There is a very high likelihood, even according to Christopher Steele, that the dossier was actually Russian disinformation. Think about that for a second. Hillary Clinton actually paid a foreign agent to compile dirt on President Trump during an election from Russian and Ukrainian intelligence sources, and it was most likely disinformation. If that's the case, then the media and Democrats have played right into the Russians' hands and sown the exact division that Putin wanted all along. It's only now that it's being used against fellow Democrats that they suddenly see a problem with it. Why am I not surprised? And speaking of 100% pure, unfiltered insanity, Brian Stelter didn't have much to say about the recent Project Veritas video exposing what we all knew about CNN. Their coverage of the president is being directed by a hate-filled leftist with a personal vendetta against Trump. Trump. Hilariously, Stelter just dismissed the video. Well, but, this must be a good question then. Oh, boy. Well, you know, you you know what it is. It, it's it's the it's the you know Project Veritas guys with their undercover expose of CNN, in which they have uh, audio of your boss. The actual spokesman for CNN, uh, Matt Gornick, said on on Twitter, he tweeted out one word. He said. Yawn. I just think there's there's no there there to these claims. There's no claims being promoted by O'Keefe. He's presenting video footage of CNN employees spilling the beans about corruption coming from the head of CNN. Oh yeah, of course that's nothing. But the years and years of claiming Russian collusion and that Trump is a Russian agent, that's completely legitimate. For God's sakes, we have actual video of Joe Biden bragging about getting a prosecutor fired by withholding congressionally approved funds. But that's just a conspiracy theory theory to be ignored. Stelter, you're no Jedi and we see right through your pathetic attempt at mind tricks. I'm going to dive deeper into this interview with Stelter, so keep an eye open for that. If you enjoy my content and you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon or Subscribestar. With YouTube demonetizing everything I upload, my subscribers on these platforms and my sponsors are the only thing keeping this channel going. You can also send me a donation on PayPal, which I'll use for camera equipment, software licenses and trips to protest so I can do more interviews. Thanks to you all and please keep coming back.